four was all members present. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. On the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Our Heavenly Father, we again come to you and ask for your blessing. We ask that you lead us and guide us, help us make fair and equitable decisions in an open form so that we may serve the people that we uh, protect. We ask that you be with our crews. We ask you to bless them and help them save the lives of uh, people in our county. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Okay. Um, does anybody want to have a comment? Okay, then we'll move on. We do have a phone. Uh, we're going to move, since we don't have a consent agenda, we're going to move on to uh, discussion and possible action uh, to authorize and order the sales tax election in the November general election. Uh, I'm open to hear any comments or suggestions you have about that. Uh, we need to do it. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, we just, but other than we need to do it, yes, I'm all in favor of doing it. I mean, uh, if we're able, all it's going to do is better the service we provide to the citizens of the county. You know, I mean, that's our motivation for doing it. But we've got a, a mountain of things that have to be done, and it's going to cost money. We service 411 square miles, spread out. We're going to have to have, to adequately serve the community, we're going to have to have. Um, and it shouldn't just fall upon property owners, no. like all of us right. here. It's going to come on the people who drive through and buy things and things like that. It's not going to be uh, uh, something that's going to be paid tax-wise. Local services. And it does not affect the city of Florida or right. the city of both. Yep. I mean, we'll miss our chance and then. Then it'll be gone. Then it'll be gone. And if we don't take a chance now, we won't get it. And I tell you, subdivisions are popping up like uh, popcorn out there in the heat. And we're going to need the money well, to be able to serve. We're going to have to have that money to service those new yeah. businesses. And we're going to have like to have that. more people and more units. Uh, so. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're looking at having to build stations, yeah. having to look at more ambulances, more police. Yep. I agree. And uh, I'm with you on the fact that if we lose it now, we we'll won't get it back. Yeah. Yep. It'll come up and somebody else will grab it and we'll be out. I'll make a motion we authorize an order of sales tax election for the November general election. Do I get to you? Okay. And this is in your quote. I'm going to second that motion. Okay, write that down. Okay, <laughs> we have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? No comments? Okay, all those in favor? Yes, sir. All right, it's unanimous, 5 0. You know, may I see that resolution in order, ma'am? Is this this right here? Yes, ma'am. That's it. I prepared it prior. Just so I'm clear, we're doing uh, Punk 75, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is this the same thing? Part of it. Whatever we can do. Right. No, no, just that. No. Okay. Everything else is uh, done. We need this so I can get it to the county. I need you need a signature page, right? I don't know that. We haven't done yet, ma'am. Okay. But, uh, that would be you okay. and Mr. Griffin signing it. Judge Griffin. The that document will actually be part of hmm. 
Okay. Is that the charity care deal? That one? Well, that would be, yeah. No, it'd be a part of B. We'll yeah. Next up. Uh, okay. That is the approval to have uh, Ms. Barnett do your, uh, oh, yes. do your tax rates. Mine. I think it all, it all factors into budgeting, but. Yeah. Well, we approved that, uh, her doing our tax rate last meeting. Yeah. Oh, you did? Yes. Well, then if y'all can go ahead and sign that. Let me see it real quick. You were going to bring the resolution. Oh, okay. So it's already done. I'm sure we, we did that. Yeah. Yes, we did. That was on the first? Yes. yes. Well, I did do that. Yes, sir. I was tracking that. <laughs> I never is there a better than you think? Yeah. yeah. See, do you need to deduct something on this meeting? Since you already. Shh, don't. I had to put any time on y'all since June. <laughs> no, they don't think I hadn't done time. Can I sign on here? We're happy to have you sign. Okay. So, I can do a deal on you. you know. Uh, to sign as well, and then I'm going to take care of those two things. I've got y'all's um, uh, tax stuff that no one was complaining about. I got it done. I was just waiting on a little information from Dave, and I'll submit it in the morning. Actually, I'll probably submit it tonight. Thank you. Okay. Good one. Uh, one thing for the Lord. Sure. Uh, is good work, I have one announcement to make, and it's not a, an agenda item because it's, it's already been finalized. We've already voted. It's in the budget. But the new ambulance is, I think, ready. And I'm going to, uh, we're going to send a check out for that this week or next. And uh, Steve. Take care of that for us. Do they deliver it? We have to and, pick it up. Uh, pick it up. I'm we don't, need, just we don't have to discuss your vote on it or anything like that. Yeah. I'm just letting you know that it's there. Where did it? Where do you want to get it? Houston. Houston. Okay. Just about two weeks. Did you say John was coming? He's here. That's him right there. Oh, I didn't even see him over there. <laughs> Would you like to come join us? Here, we'll give you a chair right over here. We'll, we'll find you a chair. Uh, for any of you who don't know, this is John Burleson. He is chairman of District 2. I'm fine. Two. I, I just sit here okay. until they call me. <laughs> I didn't even see you came in and snuck in on the phone. I just just kind of didn't know. Uh, we have been talking with uh, John about District 2, and we are will, we've told him we're willing and able to help. We've given him some ideas, and I will tell you, we're not, you know, in concrete on those ideas, but we, we want to help you in any way you need to help, and we're interested in ideas that you have and ways we can help you or things we might need to Okay. Uh, I think uh, one thing right now is uh, the runs. How are we going to divide up? I don't know. I mean, my idea was 181 West for y'all because that puts y'all over on your side anyway. We and we <coughs> have uh, David. You I guess that you like. Yeah. So, talking with David Rice on the runs in general, we would like to do nearest unit on the CAD. Okay. That would be our plan. So, it's not necessarily left or right. It's wherever our, my, our unit is and wherever his unit is, when the time of that call comes in, whoever's closest will get home out and whoever's in service. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. it wouldn't necessarily be. We're split. still kicking around of keeping an ambulance at station one. Okay. Well, yeah. And I know y'all want to come. To station two. Uh, we, David, would yeah. you like to address that too? We, uh, We've done some research. Talk some more about it afterwards. Um, we like the idea of district two, I mean station two, um, as a backup plan, I guess. Mm -hmm. Primarily, we, I was going to tell you guys this today, uh, talking to command staff and everything. We, if we're helping district two out, right, but we can't forget about our community, obviously, in our district. Um, we got the RV ready. 
I know the RV is not ideal, but uh, we were thinking, why not put the RV back in service where it was, put our crew there, like it has been what we promised our district already, um, stay there and run out of there. Because we're here, District 3 is here, whoever the nearest unit is up in District 2 is what will respond. Um, of course, something happens to the RV, we need a backup plan, a contingency plan, it could be the live oak cabins, it could be um, District 2 station. But it's just to, to us, for what it's worth, we feel, you know, if we're helping District 2 and we're running out of District 2's area and we're further up north to the northwest part that we promised we were in, that's it's gonna start looking area. it's gonna start looking weird. And, We've uh, got a, in other words, what yeah. he was explaining to me, we we've got a commitment to those commitment, people yeah. up there. Right. Okay. And yeah, it was, it was just recent that. Uh, yeah. uh, <coughs> But we can still help. I would like, there. you know, it may have not been the best idea at the time, but it was an idea and it worked for the time we were up there. Uh, and I think those people are going to be very upset when, if they find out we're not going to go back up there. And I believe that we can run that mm -hmm. just as well as we could from we can. the Civil well, area. Uh, um, we're thinking we we have a budget meeting Wednesday, and then the regular meeting Thursday or next Monday after that. But we're thinking we're going to run out of Station One, At the Eagle Creek Eagle Station. Creek. Yeah, and just that's it. We're going to do two people. So you either get a fire truck or you get an ambulance, and we're going to have to request mutual aid for first responder because we just won't have the people. We have two admin. An assistant chief and a chief that can cover something during the day, but not it's not going to be at night. You know, I told them I'll run with them at night, it's not a big deal. I don't do EMS. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is your staff right now? Uh, it's the minimum is four, and the maximum is five. It's three at one and two at uh, Cimarron. That you're gonna cut down but to we're going to cut down to two total because we're strapped for money. And we need to catch up, even next year, we need to catch up with our bills. And that's what so we were hoping that we could relieve you of some of the bills on that. And if I'm um, hearing that right, your, your two people you're going to put on, you haven't decided if they're going to be fire or you must, you're going to kind of just They're going to be with both. It. They're going to be both. So if a fire call comes in, your EMS will be gone for the day, obviously, and while they're on that call, right. and if EMS drops, then you won't have fire for that call. Right. Okay. And that EMS part, so those two people, will they be ALS or BLS? One will be a paramedic, and one will be EMT. So it would be ALS. Yeah. If, if this all works out the way we have it planned. Okay. Uh, I, I just can't see any other way we tried. Working it with three and three would probably work, but the funding is just not. Are y'all going to be able to? Are y'all going to be doing twenty four seven? I can't yes. say it. With the paramedic twenty four seven? I can't say. I can't say how it's going to work. We're just two. We got to find some. Well, that's the thing. Until now, hour part time for nighttime, you know, to cover. So we do have some part time. We'll, we'll was it? We do have some part-time oh, paramedics. Uh, because at that point, you would have then request ALS, which we mutually, right. which we would send one of our our units for that. Well, we'd send the, the north, north unit. Ideally, yeah. if they're there, yeah. and then they would essentially take over the call. And this, yeah. you know, we're going to work on six-month intervals. See what happens in six months if we got if we have money available. Maybe we can hire another person. To give us three on a crew, and we'll see what happens at the end of that six months. Uh, so basically, y'all gonna keep running, but we're just gonna do the yeah. trade window. Right. We're so gonna keep doing what we do, like I told the paper. You can tell them. I can't help what's happened in the past. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it was a. I hate to say it, it was a shit show from the beginning. So all we can do is move forward, and we've got some decent board people, uh, two HR people, 
my neighbor is an investment banker, and we got David Nieto. He's a captain of Parks and Wildlife. And, oh, okay. But, so <coughs> we've got some smart people now on the board that have uh, a lot going for them. So uh, you know, all this crap in the newspaper. Well, we do mutually. There's really not much more to do there. I mean, they'll just they'll run their units and then they'll call for help. All that means is our call volume might raise a little bit depending on how much they call right. for help. Our, our big issue was covering what y'all did in play. Mm -hmm. That was the big thing. If we can't pay for stuff now, how are we going to pay for that? I, I just looked at EmergyCon. Who does y'all's billing? EmergyCon. Okay, we've got accounts receivable of $300,000. And we got paid twenty-five thousand. So we just stay on them. Yeah, I just stay on them. He calls okay. them like every because day. We can't, we can't handle that. You know, not when you're saying, "No, oh, well, we're going to have half a million dollars for receivables, for billables." You know, what do we collect? I don't care what's billed. I want to know what's collected. Yeah, and that's where I'm talking about settling some accounts and whatnot. Out. We still have that. I got a bunch of stuff from uh, Alex sent me from Emergicon, mm -hmm. what the bills were and stuff, but it doesn't tell me what their collection rate is as far as billables. You know, this is what's billed. We collected this is this much for this month. You know, twenty-five thousand. That's nothing. I'll say this, David has improved our situation on that a thousand percent. I just need this. Uh, the team. We're, we're doing well on our billables. And, uh, well, I think now that things have changed a little bit, that right. we're going to get a better idea of what's what. And they've already, poor Alex, he's already found a bunch of stuff that was all screwed up from before. So You know that well. We know the we, thing. We, yeah, yeah. we yeah. came from your pain. Yes, yes. yes. It took yeah. us a couple years. We know years. exactly where you're coming from. Yeah. We've been there. Yeah. So I, I think at this point the mutual aid is, is the best way to go. Okay. I mean, if you need a place, then we can move the ambulance out and y'all can stay there. Because well, we're not going to. Only the reason we would, I foresee, I foresee us doing that in this situation was be if something happened with our right. trailer or whatever and we would have to go for a backup unit and we would like to do that because it's costing us money at the course and things like that yeah. and uh, but we would like to after hearing david's uh idea about you know the response we have and the responsibility we have. Mm -hmm. uh, we made those people, uh, you know, a promise. Right. And we need to fulfill that promise I if we possibly that. can. Yeah. So, uh, I, I think the, the idea was, was really good. Uh, I think we're going to keep doing what we do. And then if y'all need a place, we've got a place because we're going to start running out of the other station. And, you know, we'll be glad that the mutual aid is going to be there. Right. We're going to, uh, and we're probably going to run more calls because we're going to be closer to 181 than we have before. Right. And, uh, if you need me helpful, we're there. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. So we're bringing, for, and you probably know this, we're bringing on another crew. Right. Yeah. And another ambulance for fixing it. We think we're going to get it uh, in operation by October 1st. Okay. And, uh, peanut Festival Parade. Mr. Blair. Yeah. Uh, 44th. What number is it? 44. 44. We'll call it 44. That would be great for you. You know, we're, we're going to sell some vehicles because we, we won't have any people. Apparently, we're going to keep the big truck, the new one. I don't know how we're going to man it, but I can't get people to make a decision. So, I mean, we can sell it now. 
We got it. Well, we can sell it. You need any bikes at A and M? Huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. There was a lot of interest in it, but I don't know if if I do if I sell that one, I got to buy another one. Oh. Used. Another used one. Yeah. Because we got to have another. The other one, the old American Life France, is going to take thirty thousand dollars to get mm. it fixed, and I got to get it fixed to sell it. We're familiar with that problem too. And are we yeah. going to get thirty thousand out of it because it's an American La France? We fixed several and turned around and fixed those same ones again. Yeah. First year we were here, we spent eighty thousand dollars, I think, on on just, just fixing one. Yeah. old units to go oh. to run. Yeah, <laughs> to run to oh. make runs, and, th and then that was while we were waiting to get our two new units, and uh, that now we're waiting for the third unit. Right. I, I'm, I'm one to take care of maintenance. That's, that's one of my big pet peeves, why they didn't do that before. They just let it sit there, and that's what made it worse. So uh, now we got to get it fixed. That made a difference in our <coughs> situation is when we got somebody working maintenance full time and, and you know, making sure that those things were taken care of. Because I asked the people to do the maintenance. I said, we haven't seen this truck since 2020. We haven't seen this truck since 2021. I said, have they ever done a PM on these trucks? No. Have they ever done a wheels off PM? Check the brakes? No. So, you know, that, that to me is a crock. And don't say you don't have the money. You can buy the money. Keep your people safe. Yeah. Well, I think we know where we are then. Okay. And we're going yeah. to uh, proceed on that. I'll tell. Yes. Rudy was a big, he had all these questions. He wanted to know what territory we were going to cover. And I, I just think that if we run our ambulance, Y'all run your ambulance over there. David has his ambulance at Station 2 for Lavernia, and we just mutual aid. Okay. Everybody. I think it would be the best. Little bits too on the side, operational agents, so we're all on the same page. Yeah. Um, just so he can communicate to his crews to let us know if there won't be a paramedic on, et cetera, so we have a heads up. He's going to be around during the day. Okay. And then he's going to be a paramedic. Hopefully we can find, I put a notice up for people to send me their resumes and letters if they want to stay on board with the fire department. Uh, and we'll see how many paramedics and EMTs we have. Tom? Yes, sir. Are you listening to this? Uh, I was listening a little bit. I couldn't hear too, too much. <laughs> Well, bring up chair. Okay. <laughs> I, uh, I gonna, if you run an ALL truck, you don't have to carry money. And then we got to respond on it. We got to take over the scene. How are we going to do the building? You got it. We got it. Yeah, we would take the building. I would say. It's a BLS transport. Yeah. Yeah. What's the issue? No, no, it's not fun. Well, it's ALS. We're going to go. Looks like we're going to go straight mutual aid. Here is truck available. And we are probably going to relocate our trailer back out in Kenyatta Verde because we made a promise to those people that we would cover their, you know, this is all that was one of our priorities. This is more bullshit to y'all. Yeah, that trailer is... We can talk more about that, I guess. I know there's... In eight months, you're going to have the same mechanical issues with that thing. I mean, less than that. You're going to have, we're going to be in the same boat. And yeah. now it's not on one, I just... I was comparing, we were comparing it to, well, we're spending 4000 a quarter yeah. on the cabins. So even if the RV costed us four or $5,000 later down the road, we're still spending that at the cabins. And then what other option we had was the Cimarron. But again, I justified, we were justifying that as, the, you know, yeah. the community and how it's going to look, putting us all the way out there. Well, so upgrade that trailer. So there's that. There's I mean, still trailers, but I don't want to. It was it was the op with the options we had. That yeah. was no. where the logic. Was I don't want to throw any more. Yeah, not on a trailer. I'm not on an RV. Yeah, yeah. it's already. 
I'm, I'm not necessarily in favor of the trader petition. Right. I, I do believe that we we told those people that we want to serve that area and we're going to have a unit out there. And I think yeah. uh, we kind of made a promise to do that. And that is our territory. I mean, uh, that that is our area, and we need to service that area. Which is a Mueller building. Hmm? How much is a Mueller building? Well, the thing is, know, Five yeah. is looking at they won't let us put anything redoing that. They're gonna, yeah, they're going to. Well, I mean, it's, it's a temporary building. Right. Houston used them all the time. As long as it fits on that slab, that's the last instruction I know from Five. They didn't want us getting off that slab. <coughs> bigger than that. Um, if we went the RV route, I would end up suggesting that we do put the, the roof over it, about yeah. $8,000. But we can figure all that out to help with the unit and the RV. Before Houston built the fire station, they put a metal building up for the trucks, and then they put a Mueller building out there for the crew. So. Yeah, it worked. Eighty grand or something, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, I, you know, I, like I say, I'm not necessarily in favor of the trailer, but we don't have any other choice. Yeah, it was a proposal with the choices that we had. Ultimately, I guess. And, we're talking about half the cost of the trailer being eaten up in the, the other. Yeah. The, exactly. Yeah. I mean, the court. And uh, as well as the cost, I know is under warranty, but what was the cost to repair it to get that on? I don't have a bill. We don't have a cost to repair it right now. It was it was warranty. It was PM and warranty. Um, obviously, it's valued at thirty thousand a year ago. So. We're using that. It's going to cost us fifteen thousand a year for the cabins. Yeah. What's the status on ESD five on their their deal? They just uh, that was the second part of my thing. Is if we were going to do the RV, then we really need to have dates and confirmation of you what the plan is. Last there. meeting, so no, we did not. Um, uh, but my understanding there, we need to include with their architect what mm -hmm. we what is needed on our part. But they're all for us. Coming out, coming out with it. And I sent that to somebody. I sent the specs of what we would need. I think I sent it to y'all or Tom. But did somebody with the SD5 get it? Um, that was the reason I sent it. Hold on, let me Yeah, I sent it to Anthony, Tom, and Coy. It was, uh, we had come up with when the requirements. This was back July 13th. So that way you can talk to them and I okay. and put you know suggest that for us. Okay. And so then I'll pass it to everything from bay requirements to sleeping quarters to facilities. Because they were asking and that's why we're going to Yes. What do we need? So I can resend it if you want. Yeah. And I I gotta see when they're I know Chris is out of town. They're meeting tomorrow. They're meeting tomorrow? Six PM. Yeah. Uh have you talked to David about uh, Rice about what your plans are? Not yet. No, not yet. Uh, it's probably, I, well, I talked to him the other day and, and he was, uh, I think he's willing to go along with just about anything, but he, he needs to know we're in budget right now, as you yeah, know. We are, yeah. And we're, we've got to come up with a, we know, need to know what we're going to do so we can come up with a budget to manage right, it. Right, right. Yeah, we do. They're, they're looking to hurry up on that building more than oh, I get. Yeah. yeah, I mean, then the, the trailer is the way to go. The trailer is the way to go. That's the goal. That's what we were yeah. thinking. We yeah. execute that. So I guess to find out how quick are they planning to move on this thing. Three mentioned the other day at the meeting that they said they bought a mobile home. They operated out of a mobile home for several years. Mm -hmm. yeah, and their office did. and everything else was a mobile home. Stockton. Yep. Yeah. And uh, I, you know, there's a difference between mobile home and an RV. Oh yeah. Promise we're going to work. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't there on your slab? Exactly. Yeah. There's not going to be much room. Yeah. To say, mm -hmm. do that building there. Yes. Mm -hmm. I didn't get it. Just resent it. Uh, I, I I've looked through all my email. Right yeah. Now. So I'm saying I resent it. I didn't. Just recent to the building. Now, the station EMS specs. Okay. 
And they're meeting this tomorrow night? Yes, sir, 6 p.m. They're doing their monthly. Uh, several of them are not available next week. Okay. Uh, I, I'm available to Or Maybe. anybody available to go tomorrow night? No, I'm out of county. I'm going out of county tomorrow. It came from Miles. I did get it. It didn't come from you. Ah. I, 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 I sent it to you. No, you did, but oh. you're at the station, right? 6 p.m.? Uh, yeah. What I, I, time I, is your meeting tomorrow? 6 p.m., sir. Yeah, came from, 6 p.m. Came from okay, Miles. I'm supposed to be somewhere yeah, else. Miles but equipment. I have to talk to Well, there. they are doing a uh, monthly. Yeah, yeah, why not on. just do these two things? Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So no, no, wait a minute, sir. All right, would we fit on their agenda? Yeah. He deleted it. He didn't show 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 it. He didn't Please let us in your fire station. <laughs> Pretty please. Ah, it just it just makes sense. Yeah, I, I, I'm all I mean, we have it, but we also learned that it's. I probably. You know, you know, long. I mean, and if we have a, they'd say you know, a year, year. I mean. It's going to be a year before that dog. I mean, well, that's what I'm saying. They, if they were to say it's at least going to be a year, you know, we're going to have to put the thing is we have another backup that we have to pay for right. and pull it out. We can go to the See. other, the other yeah, That's station. the only thing, yeah. you know, we may need to borrow some space from you. And then if, if the thing should break down again. Also during construction, again. D5. Okay. Yep. You know, but uh, they may not have space there for the RV during yeah. the construction phase. I mean, that's what I'm saying. We still have that yeah. as a backup. So, I mean, we're going to work that out. Yeah. And, and can't we, can't we sure, we can work anything out. That puts us in a better position to run our, our, our district. We have a presentation from an insurance individual uh, provider first. so. A little time, but it would fit on the second item, which is kind of the report from the fire chief. Yeah, it'll fit in uh, this discussion. Okay, what do I tell them? We want in on your building. <laughs> well, they, they know we have the interest now, we just need to get in on their, their plan. That they're, they said they were submitting. You know, so we can to the architect. Those, our so we specs. need to we need to send our specs to them so they can incorporate on what we need. Yeah. Okay. Buck, would you be able to go? Yeah. I can make that presentation. Send me an email that specs. <laughs> One more I, I forwarded it to you as well. This Matter of you know, I was if you go, I sure I will send it somewhere else. Resend it. But if you can go, if you I can I can go. I got it. Sure. All right. Yep. I'll try to get there, but I, I, my wife has me committed to something that I'm going to okay. break that. I'll take care of it. Let's do a public comment. Just let them know and then we're just going to go from there. Matter of fact, I'm supposed to be in Lavoria. Uh, if you can handle that, I'd, I'd appreciate it. Got it. And I think what we're wanting them to do is give us a high idea of what their time frame is and what they're looking at. So we know how to proceed with what we have to do. So you're okay. going to operate out of one station um, with a I fire need, and EMS truck. I need to mention to you guys that we are going to have to have a couple of meetings when we get our, our tax rate. We know how much money we're talking about 
uh, to trim our trim our budget. So be prepared for that. Call me uh, and remind me. Uh, we have a uh, meeting scheduled for the fifth, which would be our um, that's our public monthly. hearing. Right. So okay. we have to do it before that. Oh yes, yeah, so we have to do it before that. Um, yeah, you'll need to have one before then. Um, I would say. week of the 21st through the 25th is you have to have it that week or earlier. So I can get it all crunched up and presented to y'all. Y'all can make a decision. Then I can publicly, I can post a notice of the public hearing. Let me ask this. Could we get together a week from tonight? 17th. And then, if we have to come back the week of the 24th, we can come back on the, the week after that. I don't want to get caught where we're... Too short. You have a 4 a meeting that night, sir. Huh? You have a 4 a meeting that night. I'm out of town the 17th through the 21st. I'll be back on the 21st. We're going to do it on Monday. 16th? How about the 16th? Uh, That's yeah. Wednesday night. Yeah. What time? Can we do it Wednesday night, the 16th? Here or no? Oh, well, so I'll bring you a birthday gift for the 17th. Hey, they didn't give me a birthday gift. Uh, we brought you a cake. Oh, that's true. You were in here, though. <laughs> Nothing. Well, let's do 6 p.m. or 7 p.m.? Whichever it's convenient. I'm, I'm completely open with 16. 16th at 6? 6th. 16th at 6 o'clock. And that, that gives us a, a cushion because if we can't, uh, we've got to have it done before the 5th. Will it be here? Yeah. Well, you've got to have it done before the 5th and with a week to spare. I have to post it public. I have to post okay. it Okay. So that means we got to... 16th will happen, and if we have to, we'll meet on the 23rd. But I'm right, it we'll depends have upon what I have to do, it depends upon what y'all adopt. Right. But if you do adopt voter approve rate, we will have to have the posting notice. Uh, if so you don't, if you uh, adopt a no new election, you don't have to post notice or anything, you don't even have to have a public hearing. You just have to do it. But well, if, right. we were, if we meet the 16th, that should take care of us. Oh, yeah. And if we, well, if we get a budget yeah. set for that, then we'll be back if we, we're, we're finished. And we, he can post it and whatever. If we don't, then we'll be back here a couple of days later to finish it out. Okay. And then on the 5th, we have our, our budget hearing. And then... Uh, yes, and then our meeting. On the fifth is our budget hearing. Yeah, that's going to be the hearing and regular meeting. And regular meeting. We'll have the hearing uh, at six o'clock and the regular meeting at seven. And it's in post. That would be in post. Mm -hmm. I know that's pushing everybody to be make meetings, but we we got to be, we got to do it. Hey, gentlemen, Mr. Miles, Mr. Adams, let's um, let's go ahead in the future because I never even got the agenda for this week. Y'all didn't do anything wrong. I sent it to you. I sent it to you. I sent it to you. Sent it to you. No, you might have. Or maybe can't. Either, I did. I did or Carrie did. Maybe. Uh, but either way. Either way. Yes. Sir. Oh yes, do not do me a favor before y'all publish it. Yes. Send it to me just to final text to me, get my attention. Sure. Okay. Yes, so I read it because we have an issue that I've already seen it in the morning in this. Okay. And the other thing, if you would send me the same copy, so I, if I have something I need to add to it, yes, uh, that way I can call Tom and say, you know, 
tell them what we need to do, and then I can get that approved and call you back. Well, yeah. you can just call them. So well, they're they're call them. Changes, yeah. but we're putting on there what you tell us. To put I want right. to see it just in case there's something I'm tracking, like this public hearing stuff. Tom has always already oh. always done our agendas for us, but we're trying to get on our own about that. And so, uh, if you can just send me a. Uh, and Tom, both what you have on there, what people have given you, whatever, then mm -hmm. we can make any adjustments we need to make because I'm supposed to approve that agenda before it goes out. Yes, sir. Good news, sir. Is that all right? Yes, sir. I just, uh, and the, our uh, directors didn't do anything wrong. I just, I see it could happen in the future. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, so we got our marching. Are you going to go to the fire That's hall? It. We're going to meet on the 16th. If we get it done, the budget done on the 16th, we should have our our uh, tax rate calculation by then. If hopefully, and if we do, then we can go ahead and, and take care of the budget. If we're still hung up, then we'll have to meet later after that to get it done. We've got to get it done by 20th, 34th. Published. If I get those numbers, I'll have the rates ready to go. Okay. So, so I seem to remember the numbers aren't as clear as I still have to calculate a few. So I don't know. my. You've got all the forms. We sent you the forms. Yeah, I'm, I'm done with that part. Okay. But I do remember doing some math on all of Yeah, because the three different math. Okay. Uh, anything else that can fall on your agenda item? The agenda items we have. Sure. Sure. Uh, we're under B. We're under B. Uh, chari charitable care policy, sir. Huh? Charitable oh. care policy. We can do that under the budget part. Uh, yes. Okay. I say it's it's uh, actually tied into the budget, sir. Yeah. Because it's tied into a grant. Okay. Um, Will, would you explain this to us? Uh, yes, sir. So uh, we were notified by Emergicon of uh, upcoming deadline for the uh, uninsured care uh, application through the state. Um, essentially, this helps bridge the gap between what, what we charge for Medicare, Medicaid, Medicaid, and what Medicaid actually pays. Uh, but also those folks who are uninsured and they're charged, uh, but we, we never get any receivables from them. Uh, so just for some context, Mergercom provided some numbers to us. We had, uh, for uninsured charges, $287,000 this past year. Uh, anyone want to guess how much was paid? 20000 Yeah, no, less, 14000 <laughs> Fourteen thousand. So, um, and some of that obviously will, will change, you know, uh, over the coming months. But um, in any case, obviously, there's a big gap. The likelihood of us getting that two hundred thousand probably not very likely. Um, or that difference there. So that is where this program from the state helps bridge that gap. Um, for context, District Three last year received about two hundred thousand dollars to help bridge uh, their uninsured charges and. and um, the lack of receivables that they got from uninsured folks or from Medicaid. So uh, it would behoove us to try and get this in. One of the stipulations from the state though is that we have an approved, uh, from the board, an approved charitable charitable care policy that outlines who falls under what uh, to qualify for charitable, charitable care or financial hardship. Uh, so the policy that is in front of most of you uh, is almost, but not quite verbatim from Montgomery County Hospital District out of Houston. Um, and they have it approved through uh, the state. They got something like $800,000 last year. So their policy works for them. Doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna work for us, right? Obviously there's maybe some things that can be tweaked, but uh, just a starting point. Uh, the preference I think from Emergicon would be to try and get the application submitted to the state uh, within a week or two. ASAP so that we can try and claim it for this fiscal year, um, which is where the policy in front of you comes from. And if it looks good to approve or if there's some changes we can make, we can make them and then proceed forward. 
whichever case may be. So with that, I'll turn it over to y'all. Any discussion about that? Well, it's fine. Thank you. Yeah. 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 I mean, we have a policy like that. We do. Yeah. So. Once well, again, we will offer to get a home run on this one. Do you say, um, you say health care services? Assuming we are. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So, where it says charity care, do you have to say health care services or emergency health care services? Uh, MCHD has it just as health care services. Uh, is there a hospital? Uh, well, they have an ambulance service oh, attached to them. To, okay. Yeah, that is just a verbatim definition from the state when they said what oh, the EMS okay. policy needs to have. They have a cute little presentation, a powerful presentation. Can you motion to uh, Yes, sir. Perfectly. Okay. Uh, I'll make a motion that we accept the policy, charity care financial assistance policy written up by Miles. Okay. Well, I have a second. Second. I already used my stuff. Okay. Any further comment or discussion? Okay. All those in favor of accepting this? Okay. This is go down five zero. Potentially Motion by them or second by. Fours. I was gonna say they're the ones that take the limits. <laughs> Not even paying attention. You just missed the motion. I, I wrote it. Motion series that can answer the approved charitable policy. Well, who didn't vote for it? Five votes. <laughs> well, I tell you what, I'm going to say this in open court, so to speak. We've got very good leadership here. Yep. Okay, there being no uh, further things we need to cover in the agenda, we'll uh, John, if I have a motion to do so, and Buck will be going tomorrow night. Uh, we'll meet again on the 16th, and whatever day we have to do after that. Okay, do I have a motion to adjourn? I make a motion to adjourn. I think a second by more. <laughs> no, Buck can second it. I already used mine. Uh, Buck can second it. Uh, all those in favor? Uh, all right. That was more